What if we could really engineer Captain America's shield? Captain America's shield is one of the most durable objects in the Marvel Universe, capable of withstanding bullets, crushing forces, and even Thor's hammer. Secret Vibranium, a fictional metal that absorbs and redistributes kinetic energy. While vibranium may be a work of fiction, materials engineers are pushing the limits of science to develop real-world super materials with incredible strength and versatility. Ricardo Castro, a department chair, professor, and materials engineer at Lehigh University, teaches Engineering Superheroes, a course that explores how actual materials could mimic superpowered technology. So what would it take to build a shield with Cap's abilities? I think you were supposed to ask what? <laughs> it starts with material selection. Against a force like Thanos' grip, the key is compressive strength. Tungsten carbide, a compound with tightly packed atoms, can resist extreme pressure. Armor-piercing bullets and beautiful wedding rings are made from this material. To withstand high-speed impacts like the devastating projectiles from Hydra, a terrorist organization in the Marvel movies, a shield needs a material that can absorb and dissipate energy with extreme efficiency. Nanocrystalline copper tantalum alloy was developed by the U.S. Army. It combines copper, which is a soft and malleable material, with tantalum, which has a high melting point and is very hard. This new engineered material would make other superheroes jealous. Sorry, <laughs> just a catty bitch, but I'm jealous. All right, let's do this. But Captain America faces more than just brute force and ballistics. He also battles fire and explosions. Most metals conduct heat quickly, but not ceramics. Their porous structures provide insulation. NASA already uses ceramic coatings to protect spacecrafts from intense heat during re-entry. By layering metals with ceramics, engineers can create composite materials that balance strength, impact, resistance, and protect against heat. One of Captain America's most mind-blowing feats is how his shield rebounds with pinpoint accuracy. But in the real world, physics just doesn't work that way. At least, not yet. Materials like shape memory alloys come close. Nitinol, a nickel titanium alloy, has a property called superplasticity, allowing it to absorb forceful impact and return to its original shape. The material is used in some flexible eyeglasses. Vibranium doesn't exist, but materials engineers are creating alloys, polymers, and nanomaterials that could revolutionize many different industries by making structures stronger, vehicles lighter, and technology more efficient than ever before. Whether it's protecting astronauts in space, fortifying military defenses, or strengthening our cities, these advancements are setting the stage for the next era of innovation. Now introducing Captain Circuit. If you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. Still no vibranium, but hey, we're getting closer.